And that's the reason why he hasn't made a commitment. If you don't ask, you probably won't get it. I want to let that sink in. If you do not require it, you probably won't get it. People in general tend to do the bare minimum of whatever it takes to get whatever it is that they want. You may not like to hear that, and I'm sorry if you don't, but that tends to be the truth. Yes, there are some overachievers. There are some people who, you know, they just want to exceed expectations and all these different things. But if you act like you're okay with a situationship, it's very unlikely that he's going to see the need to put a label on it. Because again, he's getting access to you. He's not really having to do much in return. And if you don't press the issue, why would he? I am of the belief, and this may shake the table. I feel like every time I say this, it shakes the table. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> I don't believe that men in mass just desire to get married. Yes, I think that, you know, there are men who they want to raise their kids in two-parent household. They want to be in monog monogamous relationships. But I think that most men can have that without the actual ceremony and all of the different ramifications and expectations that come with marriage. I think most men would be okay and fine with, you know, just having a lifelong partner and not necessarily tying the knot, not jumping the broom, just kind of going with the flow. I think that in general, when it comes to commitment, women tend to be the ones that push that agenda and I think that with that in mind we have to understand that closed mouths don't get fed and if you want results you have to put in some expectations now I love talking about expectations and boundaries because I think that it's something that's so important that a lot of people just don't take the time to really think about or to communicate in our head, we, we kind of know like what's required to have access to us, what we want, what we you know idealize in terms of what relationships should look like. And a lot of that is based on what we see, what our friends are doing, what our parents did, what we see on social media and TV, movies, all these different things. But I don't think a lot of us take the time to really sit and think about what am I requiring within this relationship? And then what happens if I don't receive that? And in what time frame? There's been a new phenomenon that I've been seeing on TikTok and within my own life where people are putting timelines on things. You have this newfound understanding that, as people say, men typically know within six months if they want to marry this woman. They know if she's um, his wife fairly quickly. Um, it shouldn't take... And then, of course, once you know that someone is compatible and that you want to marry that person, it doesn't necessarily mean that you act on it immediately, but you know, the, the knowledge is there. And if after six months he's still like, oh, we're just going to see where this goes, I'm just hanging, like, no, no, no. Like, if you are a marriage-minded woman, you are looking for a marriage-minded man, and if he's still talking about going with the flow at year one and a half, then there is a problem. So we know that, we understand that. Um, and so people are putting timelines in place where they're saying, if I don't receive a commitment um, in the form of boyfriend or girlfriend by maybe two months, and then if we're not ready to go to the next level after a year, a year and a half, and then if we're not going to get, like they're putting timelines in place and if that's not happening, then they're ready to walk away because the understanding is you already know. And if you're, if you already know, but you're not executing on it, then you're playing with me. And women are getting tired of getting played with.